2016 set to electrical question number 55 it says a rotating conductor of 1 meter length is placed in a radially outward about the z axis that is magnetic flux density of 1 tesla as shown in the figure so a rotating conductor whose length is 1 meter length as you see is given in the diagram is in a radially outward uh, magnetic field 1 tesla <coughs> now it is placed so as you see the conductor is placed like this and the magnetic field is radially outward the speed that is the conductor is rotating so what is the induced uh, what is the rpm that is required in order to induce a voltage of 1 volt so it is uh, the question is uh, given like that and it is asking us to find out the rpm with which it should be rotated to produce a one voltage one volt voltage right so now see actually while you rotate a conductor it is having some velocity some tangential velocity so it is v <coughs> and if it is of length l and remember l and v are that is l vector and v vector if l vector is like this and v vector is like this they should be 90 degree or perpendicular then we can write given b vector exists and is constant in magnitude so and also b vector is radially outward like this so this is b vector this is v vector and this is l vector b vector is like this radially outward and all of the three vectors are making 90 degree with respect to each other like for example this is l this is v and this is b so emf induced b l v got it now we are being asked what rpm it should be rotated now if the tangential velocity right is determined we can easily find out the rpm with which it is rotated now <coughs> coming to the solution v equal to 1 volt which is given now it is blv it is the induced voltage where small v is the vo velocity right linear velocity and v capital v is the voltage induced now b and v are also given in the question to be one and one tesla and one meter so these are one and one and this is one so v equal to one meter per second now since v equal to one meter per second the question that for example this is z axis and the conductor is at a distance of one meter from the z axis so this disc this is a disc like structure this is z axis and the conductor is placed somewhere here so this radius r is one meter so if this radius is one meter so you know v equal to omega r and radius is given out to be one v is given out to be 1 so omega is one so 1 equal to omega is 2 pi n by 60 omega is the angular velocity and n is in rpm now what does it mean that if for example 
angle theta is being covered in one second then omega becomes the angular velocity now we are asking how many revolutions per minute revolutions per minute so you see how this formula is coming in one second the angle rotated is 2 pi then if in one second if rotates 2 pi n then means n rpm n rotations per minute so in one rpm you have 2 pi angle in one minute now in n rpm you have 2 pi n angle in one minute but in one second it covers 2 pi n the minute that is 60 minute is one second so by 60 so this is nothing but the definition of omega the angle subtended in one min one second is angular velocity so omega is 2 pi n by 60 now when omega is 1 as you find out v equal to omega r and v is 1 velocity is 1 and r is 1 so omega is 1 now omega given 1 in radians per second what should be n so n should be 60 by 2 pi that is the value of n rpm so what is the value of 60 by 2 pi is 30 by pi so the value if you find out will come out to be n equal to 9.549 rpm so this is the answer 9.549 the answer is 9.549 or 9.55 rpm this is the rpm with which you should rotate this disc in order to produce an emf of one volt across this conductor thank you Thank you.